Good day, fellow investors. I love both Buffett and Munger, but over time I have learned to appreciate Munger much, much, much more because he doesn't care at all what we think about him. He is very straightforward on he, what he says. He doesn't care about lawsuits, about anything, and he tells you directly. And here is an interview from CNBC used for educational purposes where he explains his investment in China. The Munger family has invested in China sub substantially. Since when and why? Well, since about 14 years ago. And I did it because I respected the man who was going to do the investing. And it all looked inexpensive to me. And the companies looked very strong to me. And of course, this worked out. I've done way better than I had any right to expect. Does it still look that way when you look to the Chinese markets? I think that the best companies in China are cheaper than the best companies in the United States. The concern other investors might have before they, they follow in that way is that they don't know that much about Chinese companies and maybe... They're just generally afraid of China. Is there a reason that they may have some... I mean, you have people who are guiding you who understand China well. If someone was trying to do this on their own, would it be a little more dangerous? Sure, it really helps to understand the country <laughs> you're operating in, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right, there's my that's a stupid question moment. Um, you would not necessarily advise others to do this, I guess is my point, for investors who are sitting at home watching. I don't think it would be all that hard for any smart person to find four or five great companies in China to invest in. Whoa, so the interviewer constantly pushes, we should not invest in China, we should stick to what Buffett says, index fund investing, US econ economy, and then ba Munger says that everybody can find four to five good businesses in China to invest over the long term, that good businesses in China are cheaper than good businesses in the US and that he is very, very exposed to China. And that's something you hear only from someone who has no interest at all in whatever goes around him, like Buffett. Buffett always promotes SAP 500 because he is domestically biased and he likes, if you buy the index, all his stocks, you will also buy partly of his stocks and Berkshire and those stocks will go up, so he will do well. If people start investing in China, Buffett won't be the investing guru, but Munger, as said, will, do the, will be good because he is very invested in China because it's cheaper. For Munger, it's very simple. Find value, look at the price to the value you get, look at the demographics, at the growth, and then position yourself accordingly. And he still thinks that Chinese companies are better. This doesn't mean that you have to put everything into China. This means that you have to be well diversified with the US, good companies in the US, across the world and also in China. I believe that if you find five stocks, good companies, good businesses in China, five good businesses in the US and five to 10 around the world, you will have a great diversified portfolio of great businesses. And when you hold that, you don't have to care about anything else and you just add, add, if there is a global crisis, you just add and buy the cheapest of those good businesses. Over time, you will sometimes you will buy the US, sometimes China, sometimes Europe, who knows, but over time, you will perform extremely, extremely well. On the other hand, Buffett constantly promotes index funds that don't buy the best, the good businesses that Munger is saying, which he said that we can pick, everybody can pick five good businesses in each state. So Buffett recommends index funds, which is really don't bother with anything, just buy and then you get the average. So if you don't want the average, buy the good and do a little bit of work to find what is the good. Munger says it, I am more inclined to Munger. Let me know in the comments if you think the opposite way. Thank you for watching. Check my research platform if you're interested in more detailed analysis about Chinese companies and Chinese investing opportunities. I'll see you in the next video.